Now this channel was originally named Black Bear Forge Shorts. And the reason I started this channel was to explore the new Shorts feature on the YouTube mobile app. This of course is YouTube's attempt to compete with things like TikTok and Instagram Reels, things like that. But I found that these short blacksmithing videos have been incredibly popular on that app. This channel is now at over 110,000 subscribers in that five month period. And I think that's pretty outstanding. So thank you to every one of you viewers. Thank you everyone who has subscribed. I really find this quite amazing, but I think this channel has other potential. So I have renamed it from Black Bear Forge Shorts to Black Bear Forge 2. And what I'm thinking about doing over here is including some more normal YouTube videos. You'll only be able to watch those on the regular YouTube platform like you'd be watching this one because it isn't a short vertically formatted video so it won't play on the short shelf. And one of the things I've been doing to explore that is some re-edits of some of my more recent videos. This was about a 25 minute video to make this tool. I edited it down to a much faster paced video showing all the key information but not getting in too much detail and that left about a five minute video. I've also done a re-edit of this little shovel. I think it ended up about two minutes. So if you like shorter, more condensed, faster paced videos without all the spoken description, this may be the channel for you. And since I'm starting to post some of those videos, the re-edits, things like that here on Black Bear Forge 2, I think I will probably create some original content here, perhaps revisiting topics that I've done over on the Black Bear Forge channel, but taking a new look at them here. One of those concepts was the scrap bucket challenge. We, we called it the hook of the week where every week for a full year, I took a piece of scrap out of a bucket that was probably destined to go to the recycler and made some form of a usable hook, a coat hook, hat hook, key hook, whatever kind of hook it might have been, and tried to challenge myself to see what I could come up with. And I still have lots of buckets of scrap. I don't think I'm going to obligate myself to making a hook every week, but I think I'm going to regularly visit those scrap buckets and see what kind of things we can make. For that matter, that's where this little coal shovel came from. This was one of those scrap pieces, and we've managed to turn something that might have gone to recycling into a useful tool. So I will put those kind of videos on this channel. I will put videos talking about specific blacksmithing tools and equipment, but I'm going to keep them all short. I'm going to try and keep everything over here less than 10 minutes. Most of it's probably going to be under five. And those YouTube shorts on the mobile app are still going to be the main thing that you're going to find over here. So if you use the mobile app and like those shorts, don't worry, I'm not going to forget about you. So welcome to Black Bear Forge 2. I hope you enjoy the videos. And if you're not already subscribing to the main Black Bear Forge channel, I'll put a link right up here so you can go over there and subscribe to that channel as well for more detailed videos about blacksmithing. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next one.